On Ethereum, transaction costs money. That's what we call the gas fees, and it's very confusing for beginners. In this video, I will give you a simple explanation of what is gas on Ethereum. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and at Eat the Blocks, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. To modify data on Ethereum, you send transaction, and it costs money. For example, a transaction can send Ether to another address or execute a smart contract. A transaction is executed by miners. The first miner to solve the puzzle of the proof of work algorithm wins the right to add the next block of the blockchain, and it receives the transaction fees paid by the addresses that assign transactions. This fee is related to the concept of gas. Gas is a unit to measure the computational effort of a transaction. The Stridity code of smart contracts is compiled into a series of low-level instructions called opcodes. Each opcode has an associated gas cost. When you execute a smart contract, the gas cost is the sum of the gas cost of all opcodes executed. Although a transaction fee is measured in gas, it's paid in Ether. To go from gas cost to an Ether value, we have to use the gas price. The gas price is arbitrary and is set by the signer of a transaction. Since the London upgrade and EIP1559, the gas price has been replaced by a base fee and a tip. The base fee is burned and the tip is paid to miners. The base fee is recalculated at each block by the Ethereum blockchain depending on the utilization of the network. The tip is decided by users. The higher the tip, the faster a transaction will be mined. There are some APIs that can suggest a value for the tip depending on the usage of the network. When you send a transaction, you can either send it with the old or the new format. Gas, also called gas limit, correspond to the maximum of gas you are willing to pay. In the new format, instead of gas, we have max priority fee per gas, the tip of the miner. If it's too low, the transaction will fail. And we have a max fee per gas, the sum of the base fee plus the tip. If it's too high, the unused gas will be refunded to the transaction signer. You don't specify the base fee since this is calculated by the network. So that's it for this quick intro to gas. As a developer, you should strive to reduce transaction fees for users. You can do this by optimizing the code of your smart contracts and you can also use a cheaper blockchain like Polygon. Next, you can check out this other video where I explain the Ethereum virtual machine. That's a very important part of Ethereum that runs the smart contracts. I will see you there.